The Letter. Interview with the writer and director of the short film Niku. Niku is based on a true story about a boy who was trafficked to London and forced to steal. Why did you choose to make a film on this topic? I chose this topic of human trafficking as I'd seen um, some news reports, read a few articles and was quite blown away by all that was happening really. I Google searched human trafficking and films and stumbled upon an anti-human trafficking charity that were on the lookout for films that were spreading the word about human trafficking. I wanted to make a short film for a charity that utilised all my skill set really. And so what inspired me particularly was the huge number of children that were being trafficked. And this really resonated with me um, and I made this instant connection with that this story had to be told. And this connection to it um, really spurred me on to research more. Did you know much about human trafficking before making the film? What research did you do for the script? I didn't know too much about human trafficking. So the anti-human trafficking website that I found was quite um, informative and it had lots of case studies, quite harrowing, true accounts of people's first-hand experience of being trafficked. And it was quite upsetting to read, to know that this type of stuff is going on in in your neighbourhood, on your doorstep. Amongst all these case studies and statistics, one of them really stood out to me, and it was about a young boy, and it really, really resonated, and I really connected with this story. And also felt incredibly sad about it. And I thought, what difference can I make? And that was the start of the connection to telling Niku's story. If you're making films, it's really important to find some kind of connection that you can really kind of understand and get. And um, hopefully that will translate into your, uh, your film piece. Why did you use the letter? I chose a letter, um, not necessarily because I thought that Niku could write, but more so that... It's the kind of thing that makes it feel very personal, very um, expressive, and these are his innermost feelings that he's sharing. And the only way he could, in fact, share was by writing this letter, because I'm thinking he didn't have a phone to contact them, he had no contact with his family. So this imaginary letter was a way for him to kind of express all this kind of stuff that he was feeling and thinking and experiencing. Also, I think a letter can represent like a stream of consciousness where all your emotions are kind of poured out there in words. How long did it take you to shoot the film and post-production? Did you choose the music? We had about a day and an evening to film Niku and an afternoon in voiceover. But before that, there was probably around two weeks worth of prep and pre-production with this, writing the script, um, doing a little storyboard and animatic to go through timings, booking your film crew, getting your permits from the council to film on the streets, putting posts on casting agents' websites, looking for children that fit the bill. In fact, we used a different child for the acting and a separate child for the voiceover. I was getting a bit of a Romanian accent was quite important to me, which was quite tricky to find, but we got there in the end. We probably had a few days to edit, and then I had another half a day to give it a nice grade and make it look polished and finished. And then we had probably about a day in audio to score it with the music that I'd chosen from a library network of music who kindly um, wavered their fee for the music for this charity film. And all the people that were involved, so from the production crew, the cameraman, the assistant, the producer, the actors and the parents, 
they did it on a voluntary basis. I think I paid them with food and refreshments and maybe some contribution to their travel. The editing side was an old colleague that had his own post-production facility. He donated the editor's time, the sound engineer's time. Um, you'll be surprised once you start making a film that is for charity, lots of people do want to get on board and do their bit too. What do you want people to learn from your film? I wanted people to learn from the film that that it's happening, it's on our doorsteps, it's on a street around us, um, that these children that could have been sent for this so-called better life and look what they end up with. They didn't plan for that. Their parents may have not planned for that either, but they are so desperate that this is as good as it gets for them. How do you want the viewer to feel? I wanted people to feel sad and try and understand these situations more so. Um, I think the statistics at the end are quite hard-hitting also and eye-opening. I love that when you're watching a film that you take something out of it and if it's touched you emotionally in any way then as a filmmaker you've kind of done your job if that was your aim. Do you now understand so-called street children differently after having made Niku? I mean, even myself, when I've been at the traffic lights with the car and a little kid or a mum comes with the fairy liquid bottle to try and clean your windscreen, and you're like, it's all right, it's already clean, it's like, get away, get away. Now I may be a bit more patient with them and understand that that, that's their livelihood, that's their day's work, and if they don't take back money, then then God knows what will happen to them. So... um, It's opened my eyes in that way um, to see these people in their everyday situation. Do you have any advice or guidance for filmmakers, especially young filmmakers who want to make films for a cause? My advice for um, young filmmakers that want to make films on this type of subject matter or for charities, um, start by really thinking about what you want your message to be, what do you want the viewer to take out, and really work hard on that script and what it's going to tell the viewer and prepare like crazy because that's the hardest part I reckon all the prep work and getting it right getting your script right and your structure and what your messaging is and the filming part is the easy part because you've done all the planning and the prep beforehand above all enjoy yourself enjoy every part of the process and um, have fun with it and make sure you have that connection. Otherwise, if you don't have that connection, how is the viewer supposed to have that connection with what you make? So good luck.